All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. We've been talking databases and we're now on our way to uh, talking about PHP MyAdmin. In the last lecture, I gave you a very simple, very simple little uh, introduction to PHP MyAdmin, and we're going to continue on with that in this chapter. What you see on the screen, what I have here, is a poor table example that I created. When I say poor, it's, it's something that can be, should be, and will be refined. All right? But if we look at what's in here, you'll notice we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 fields. All right? The first field is an ID field, which will be an int and will be auto-incremented. Then we've got a social security number field. And these are not real social security numbers. I made them all up. First names, middle initials, and you'll notice at least a couple people don't have middle initials. Last name, address, again, I've made these up. City, these are valid cities, but I have no idea if these people live in these cities or not. Everyone's in Missouri. Zip codes, and I'm not even sure if the zip codes are all correct. A department name and a department number. So we're going to create a database right now that's going to mimic this. And I'd like to do it in two ways. We'll see whether or not it works. What I plan to do first is to manually key in these 10 records. Then what I'd like to do is see if it's going to be possible for me to come in, grab the, this spreadsheet with these 10 records, and import it directly into a table. All right? So the database name, notice I've already got one called Acme and I've got another one that's called Acme2. So I'm going to call this database Acme Widget Company, but I am going to put underscores between the Acme and the widget and the widget and the company. This table will end up being, being called employees. The primary key will be the ID field. Remember, a primary key is a unique record identifier, and a primary key should be unintelligible. Even though I do have Really, when you think about it, the social security numbers are unique, the first names are unique, the last names are unique, the addresses are unique, etc. It makes sense to come up with your own unintelligible key, such as an ID. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to attempt to create all of this in PHP My Admin manually. All right? So. I'm going to pretend here, even though I've already got it up, I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. i got a lot of stuff open I don't need. Some other stuff I've been looking at for other classes. But from my XAMPP or XAMPP control panel, with both Apache and MySQL active, I'm going to go over and click the button under MySQL admin, and that will again remember start up PHP my admin. All right, now I've got it in inside of, it's, got, it's running right now in IE. That's fine. I don't really care. So I'm going to come to Databases, and I'm going to create a new database name, and it's going to be called Acme underscore widget underscore company. All right? Acme underscore widget underscore company. I'm not going to play with the collation. I have nothing called Acme underscore widget underscore company. All right, I'm going to click Create. And you can see it's now created my database. All right, so now I want to come in here and I want to create my table. My table will be called Employees. All right, and it will have in it 11 columns. And I'll click Go. All right, so now let's start, and I'm going to see if I can get this to work this time from here. ID, I'm not going to give it a length because I think that's where it goofed up last time. But I will say that this is a primary key that's automatically incremented. So primary key that's auto-increment. All right, the next field will be SSN for a social security number. Now, I want the dashes in there. So I'm going to make this a char field, char meaning that it's fixed length. 
somewhere in here. I know I've got char. There's varchar. There's char under string. Okay? And that char field will be of size 11. All right? And that will also under indexes, I want that to be unique because that will make sure that every single every single one of these that I create will be unique. I'm going to call this SSN underscore, in fact, I'll call it IDX, which people usually use for index, SSN. All right? And that's it. Now, I could write comments here if I want to or wanted to. I don't right now. Okay? So, next is first name, which will again be a varchar. Let's just choose it from string here. So varchar. And we'll make that, even though it doesn't have to be, let's just make it 20. That'll be fine. All right. And we're going to say that we're not going to allow nulls for any of the fields we've done so far. Then we're going to have an MI field for middle initial. That will be a char. And that will just be of size 1. Just a middle initial. And that one can be null. So where we've got nulls here, we're going to check the box. All right. Let's continue on. So we've got our ID, our social security number, our first name, our middle initial. Now we'll put in last name. That will again be a varchar. And again, we'll make it of size 20. And again, that one cannot be null. In fact, none of the rest of this stuff in here will say can be null. So next will be address, which will be another varchar. We'll make that a little bit bigger. People's addresses usually are bigger, so we'll make that 40. City, varchar, and we'll make that about 25. State, we'll make that a char of size 2, so we can use the state abbreviation. Right. zip and we're going to make that a varchar okay and we're going to make it all of my zips are in there as five digits but remember you can also put the dash in four more digits so I'm going to make that a varchar of size 10 alright and we have department name which will again be a varchar and I would think uh, 25 should be sufficient. Finally, a department number. That will be an int. Okay? Now, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that when I click go or save, that it does save it and it doesn't give me an error message. All right, there it is. Okay, so it's created that for me. So please remember when you do this, don't put a number in there for your ID field. That's what seemed to have screwed mine up. All right, so I now have all of this. So what I've been able to successfully do is to create the database, Acme Widget Company, and create the employees table. Now I want to start to insert records. I'm not, I'm not going to put anything into the ID. In fact, why don't we? I've got my IDs go from 1 to 10. Let's start this with 1,000 and 1. So let's see if while we put these in, if this goes into 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, up to 1,010. All right? So social security number will be 111-22-3333. This record is me. So it's Jeffrey. Middle initial is P. Last name is Scott. The address, I'm just going to use the rank and address, 755 Par Road. The city is Wentzville. The state is Missouri. The zip code is 63385. The department name that I work for, I'm put in here info. In fact, let's let's uh, I think this will work. Information technology. I think that's less than 25 characters. 
Looks like it's 22, so that works fine. And the department number will be number one. All right, so again, now what I can do is I can type in go, and this is the actual generated SQL. So I can select all of it, select all, copy it to the clipboard, and I just, again, wanted to show you this is the one we had previously, but let's put this in. So, so I'm telling it to insert into employees all these values. And this is what we're putting in then. 1001. So there's the ID, the first or the social security number, first name, middle initial, last name. Address, city, state, zip, department num department name, department number, okay? So that's what's actually getting put into the system for me. Now, get rid of this, sorry about that. So now, if I wanted to, I can come through here and browse and take a look at my record. So I can click Browse, and there's my record. Now, it wraps around because this is pretty wide. I don't know if I can, I can do that if I want to. There we go. All right. So I can come back in here, click Insert again, and now start putting in my second record. Now, I don't want to bore you with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the remaining 10 records, but I'm going to pause because I'm at 12 minutes. So I'm going to pause the tape for probably about 5 to 10 minutes while I put in the records. All right, and then I'll be back to finish up this particular lesson. All right, so I've added back or added in all of the records and if I select star from employees now and click go there is my information all right so I'm going to end right now but what I want you to understand is what I've done is I've used I now have used PHP my admin I've gotten into it I created a database under that database I added a table under that table I added the associated schema then I went back to the table and I added 10 different records. All right, what I'm going to attempt to do in the next lecture is to replicate this, but see if I can come in. I don't remember exactly how to do it, but I want to see if I can import this information in, all right, from an actual Excel spreadsheet. So that'll be coming up shortly.